Hello everyone and welcome to Moonlight Jewel. My name is Elisa and this video is the first one of my Sailor Scout series. I will be making all 10 Sailor Scouts in their super transformations, starting of course with Sailor Moon. The super transformation is by far my most favorite outfit of her and was quite a challenge to make, so let's dive right into making Super Sailor Moon. Actually I wanted to take a Draculaura doll again for this project, but when I compared her face to Elizabeth, I decided to go with Elizabeth, cause she looks a tiny bit different and more adult. As always, I start by wiping off her face with pure acetone and remove her hair. Then I repaint her skin with my airbrush. If you want to know exactly how I made this, watch my skin custom tutorial on my channel. Time for the reroute! This time I used milky blonde canicle on hair. Some of you saw what a struggle it was to reroute long hair like this on my Instagram livestream. Thank you so much for the stream, it was a lot of fun. After the rerouting process, I just poured some boiling water over her head and secured the hair with glue inside of it. Finally, time for the face up. Before drawing on her new face, I sprayed three layers of Mr. Super Clear. Then I begin blushing her face, her lips, and eyes. The secret to a good face up is layering the colors. Really take your time. And if the colors won't build up anymore, secure it again with MSC. decided to give Sailor Moon some pink and yellow eyeshadow because it looks beautiful to her eye color in her outfit. To make the colors pop more, I took some white acrylic paint for the white parts of her eyes. Finishing touches are some pearlescent powders, gloss on her lips and some highlights in her eyes. Now she needs some hairstyling. I styled Sailor Moon's hair almost exactly like I styled Black Lady's hair, so if you'd like to know how I made her hair, watch my Black Lady repaint video. The hardest part and most of the work on this doll was definitely the outfit. I started by making her accessories first. For her tiara, I plotted out some shapes out of chrome vinyl, glued it on cardboard and then glued it all together with double face tape. For her hair bun jewelry, I cut out some circles out of fun foam and glued on some half beads on it. The other hair jewelry and her earrings are made from vinyl glued together.
The feathery jewelry is finished up with some half beads too. I made her choker from a satin ribbon and a pink painted heart shaped half bead. For Sailor Moon's color, I printed out the gradient on a vinyl and ironed it on white fabric. Then I added some chrome golden stripes made of golden fabric vinyl, cut out the pattern and glued down the seams. I already made a little body with the little armor sleeves out of white jersey fabric off camera and sewed it to the doll, since my Sailor Moon doll is going to be a display doll only. Now I just need to glue her color to the body. made of red satin ribbon finished up with a pink painted heart shaped half bead. I just glued the ribbon onto her body too and the body is done. Now we need to make her skirt. I printed out the gradient in the shape of the pattern piece on the same vinyl I used for the collar, ironed it on the fabric, glued down the seam and pinned down the pleats. Then I sewed the pleats in place and carefully ironed them. For the waistband of Sailor Moon's skirt, I used white and yellow satin ribbon, folded in half and sewed the ends in a little bow. Then I sewed it to the skirt and added a heart shaped bead as well. Her back ribbon is made from the same material as the little sleeves on the body. The last thing we need to make are the boots. I used white Monster High boots as a base. I think these one are from the Scara Screams fashion pack. I'm marking the cutting line first and then cut them into the signature shape. Then I masked the upper seam off with some tape and airbrushed them red. I finished the boots up with some golden moons made of chrome vinyl. For her gloves I just added red satin ribbon to the ends of her upper arms and painted her lower arms white. Time to give Sailor Moon her head bang and add all of the hair jewelry and earrings. I glued some little pins on the back of the accessories to be able to attach them to Sailor Moon's hair. And of course, Sailor Moon needs a little Luna, so I made her one from a littlest pet shop cat. I airbrushed the kitty black and drew her some red eyes and a cute pink nose.
I finished up her face with a golden moon too. I just love Luna, but that's probably mostly because she is a cat and I love cats. I wish my cat could talk too. Hi! So, I think we're done. Here she is, my Super Sailor Moon. I'm quite happy how she turned out, especially the golden stripes on the collar are so shiny and look perfect with her tiara. What do you like most and who's your favorite Sailor Scout? Mine is Sailor Moon, Sailor Neptune and Sailor Jupiter, but that's actually really hard to decide because they're all just gorgeous. So yeah, that's it for today. The next doll of this series will be Super Seda Chibi Moon. I really hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more custom fun. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful creative day.